so hello there. This week to celebrate spring we are doing sheet puppets. This is the easy sew. All I'm doing is a running stitch. It's, it's um, as simple as it gets. There's no complicated hemming. Um, but we are going to be using some um, stuffed toy um, sort of um, skills. So I've got some stuffing. You can use an old sock if you like. It's uh, entirely what you've got. So um, yeah, I've got stuffing here and that's just to protect the, the back of the hand because I'm using safety eyes. Um, they're not sharp but they're uncomfortable. So I've got safety eyes. Um, you can get little safety pink noses but I've used a piece of embroidery thread. Now the needle is quite handy because I can puck out the seams afterwards. Oh, wrong one. So um, I make it nice and fluffy. I've got a bit of backing paint, a bit of backing cloth. This is just to line it where we put the stuffing on the inside. I don't think you can see that. <sighs> now because I've got it, I've got some scrap cloth that I'm using to make the ears. You can make it out of the fur. And I've got what's described as poodle fur. Um, I'm sure they can't say lamb's fur, can they? They can't say sheep's wool, because people would be expecting it to be made out of wool. This is completely acrylic. Um, I'm sewing on the normal sewing machine. You can get some um, ball-pointed um, sewing needles. Um, yeah, it's been fine with just a normal sharp needle, but um, they do say, you know, if you're sewing fur, fake fur, then use one of those because it, instead of trying to pierce the cloth, it pushes the fabric away, so um, it goes through a lot easier. Okay, well I hope you enjoy the vid. Anyway, <laughs> thanks ever so much. Hello there, so spring is in the air, how wonderful is that, finally. Okay, so we're going to do a sheet puppet today. Uh, I have everything I need. I've already cut out my ears and I have a backing plate for my um, blah, 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 face um, so that I don't have the these studs sticking in the hand. So we wouldn't want that. Now, I hate to say it, but I've probably got quite small hands. So do take the time to... Um, find out who it's used for, you know, who you're making this for, and um, try and get the sizing right. Now, sheep have a kind, of, well lambs especially, have this big dome head, and these big floppy ears, and um, you know, all baby animals have big eyes, and then they have these little dopey noses. Now, I'm going to embroider uh, the nose on. If you do, if you do find a nose for sale, then that's great. So what I need to do is make the pattern so it fits the hand and is big enough for the face as well. So does that look about right to you? Ooh, the eyes are a bit scary. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can see actually. Alright, so that's, that's my basic pattern. I do have one here I've already cut out. Um, this one's got a little punky haircut. And I'm using my fleece. Uh, th sorry, I'm not using this. I'm using fur. Now, fur's great to sew with. Um, it does stretch, so you do have to keep an eye when you're sewing. And um, it does... It may require special needles. Um, there's a type of needle called a ballpoint needle. Now this pushes the fabric away rather than trying to pierce the fabric. So in a way it's a lot better. So this is the back that I'm drawing. And then I need the main body of the head. And that needs to come down in a V. And then I need the mouthpiece so that we can add the 
and with the mouthpiece to save my sewing I need an opposite one now because I've cut it sort of to hand size um, it is a bit different so let's just cut round the bottom because we know that's going to be the same and then what I need is I need this V bit coming up there so that's great that looks so big actually I'm going to small it down a bit now that sews on the back of that now that's all I need as I said I've already got my ears so let's cut these out now ah, found my scissors we're off to a good start now I've got my machine all set up I don't actually have any of these special needles here and um, so I'm going to give it a try but as I'm not doing a lot of sewing um, you know it should be okay so This is my face. So I'm going to have to do it like that. And fingers crossed you can see okay. And this is the front. the bit that goes under the chinny chin chin there we are so that's that done <laughs> under a deck so I guess the first job for me to do is to sew my backing so that I can stuff the face. Oh, sounds terrible, doesn't it? Now, it's probably best if I leave my hole there to stuff it. So I'm just going to go around like this. Obviously, because I did that off screen before I even did the pattern. So that is literally <laughs> I suppose I could have used a different colour cotton, couldn't I? I've literally just sewn round there. This is the right side. It makes it easier to put the eyes in if you do it from the right side. I'm going to sew up my ears as well because to turn them inside out now this is fleece material now it it scraps as far as I'm concerned um, so um, I'm going to use it but you can do ear um, with the fur you know there's no reason why not um, it's just I'm a big fan of using what I've got So that's one ear done. Oh, I'm in one of those I should sing to you, Moo. I think I 
actually we can make these even bigger, bigger floppy ears. We'll just have to see. Maybe when I write on the pattern. As big as you like. Okay, so that's my ears done. I just wanted to get it done before I started sewing the main bit. Now we're back on the face and the eyes are hmm, probably about there and the ears are just above. So I don't want them too close together. Now you can just push through with these um, safety eyes but I'm going to just snip a hole. Um, it's quite a lot of work actually. So all I've done, snipped a little bit, a starter of a hole and then these washers, they clip on the back. Now some are easier than others and um, these are, I think these are safety eyes and the other type of eyes do not have, they have a sharper bit even still. So I'm burying everything today, I really am. I'm so untidy. Here we go, that's that. So yeah, we don't want them too close together. We don't want it to look like a beaky one. Um, now, I'm going to be honest with you here. If I go to a craft shop and buy stuffing, they charge me a fortune. So what I have here is literally a pillow. I buy a new pillow, which costs, you know, nothing compared to the bag of stuffing. And I'm thinking, well... If it's safe enough for us to sleep on, then it's got to be as safe as purpose children's stuffing. So that's me done. So, yes, uh, a little bit of a cheapskate thing for you there. Now what I want to do next is I've got the right side of my sheep's face and I want to put in the mouth. So this is so that we can do this chif 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 thing. Now, I don't want to sew the other half because this half then goes on there, but I do want to, to get that done first. So, probably should have done this when we were cutting out. I'm going to make a big mark to say where I'm going to stop sewing. Now, like I said, fur does stretch when you sew it, so um, do be careful, do be careful. And um, sometimes, especially on these, well, uh, all machines, actually getting it under the foot is quite hard, so. Lovely. So I've got it started, and make sure it matches up. Just easing her around the the nose. Now, when you're sewing fur, um, what's a good idea to do so you don't have to do it later is just swish all these bits in, and then when it's done, it it, it doesn't need too much pulling out. Because if you sew it whilst it's out, then you've got to get a pin and you've got to pull all this fluff through. you too. No matter how you are, how careful you are when you're dealing with this much fabric, is go on the other side and just check that you've caught it all, because you wouldn't want um, any any missed bits. So that's where I am now. Um, untuck it just for demonstration purposes. So there we are. 
tuck it back in. <laughs> okay, so all I need to do now is I need to sew the last piece together. Now, I have got to stick these ears in, which I'm quickly going to turn inside out. Now, they kind of need to be level, you know. I know sheep's, look, that's sheep's ears sort of wobble in their own little way, but um, we want to start off with them looking um, together. Now what I've done is I've got some blunt scissors and I'm just pushing them out to the seam. It's just easier to do it now, but they are blunt-ended ones, they're special paper craft scissors. <sighs> Lovely. Do, do, do. You're singing while you work. There we are. So they're going to be my ears. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's line it up as best we can. What I'm actually going to do. grab a pin just so I get it in the right place mm, gosh I had to think then I think we want the black on the inside don't we if I remember my sheet correctly you see if I'd have waited a couple of weeks I'd have been able to get a live can a, a candidate for you <laughs> But no. Alrighty. So I'm all ready to go. I'm going to reverse stitch here because I guess that's where you're going to get the most wear. I'm taking the puppet on and off. have come off um, then I can um, just because I haven't given myself much hem allowance because on purpose because I don't want it too bulky so I'm coming up to my corners it's quite important that I do at least try and get it all um, obviously it's quite thick because of the stuffing, I don't think it's going to have any problem going over the stuff. It's just fluff, isn't it, really? But um, <laughs> this is why I don't usually use pins. <laughs> I'm a monster with them. Okay, so now I am sewing over the side of the head and catching the ear. And now I'm just coming up to the top of the head. to sew it level with that one and I'm going to put the black side inwards. It's quite a dense piece of fabric. And I'm safely onto an arm. So what I'm doing when I'm doing these right angle corners is I'm leaving my needle down 
and I'm lifting the foot so that I can just move the fabric around the, the needle. Okay. So the moment of truth, how many times have I come off whilst turning around corners? So we know it's alright on the top side, but is it alright on the back side? So yeah, I'm just going to go over that little join there of the foot. Um, so my poor machine, you'd think it worked really, really hard. Okay, that's what we've got, that's the finished product. Well, we could hem the end. <laughs> Let's get it round the other way. Uh. I'm just tucking out the mouth and tucking out the arms. You can see what I mean about the try and push the fur fabric in because with longer fur it's a lot easier to to push it out than short fur. Okay, go, okay. <laughs> Mutilating it. <laughs> it's not working. I've done it back to front. No, uh, <laughs> it's perfectly okay. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a silly mood. It's Friday. <sighs> there we are. Another arm. Another arm. So, there we are. I need my nose sewing. So, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to sew his nose and um, I'm just going to tidy him up a bit. All his eyes are wonky. Look at that. Never mind. It's called character, isn't it? And um, of course, I'm going to hem this. All right. So, thank you ever so much. And um, I'll be back in a few. hello there okay what I've done is I've just run some stitches along the bottom I haven't bothered hemming it I know that fabric that fur doesn't fray so I'm just taking a moment to go and get all my loose ends and I have a cross stitch needle well no it, I suppose it's a tapestry needle because it's blunt and I'm just popping out the um, the seams so that all the fur is fluffy some places I didn't do a very good job. I'm being careful not to actually pull the whole lot of fur out. And also while you've been away, I've um, embroidered a little, little pink triangle because I couldn't get hold of any noses. So, there's our little sheep puppet ready to butt heads in the field. Alright, thank you ever so much. <laughs>